that we are given. Anybody needs one? We have more. You need this one, please. Yes. Sean needs one. This one? Yes. Yes. Yes, Sean. Thank you. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone, guide us. Make your love come in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go, and the art we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us from all the earth. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor our shadowy and human interactions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to the eternal life, and not as saving or from the way to live with it, but what is right. All this is signed to you, for I am Lord in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Brothers, in our forums to offer this Mass in a worthy manner, let's have the knowledge of sin and ask the Lord for mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. He came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant us, we pray, Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns, with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. We continue to pray for the end of this pandemic and for the healing of the world. And especially in this month, we remember and pray for all the faithful departed, that they may rest in the divine presence of God, especially for Velma Isidora and Maximino, Maximino Bergasso, and um, Valia Robustillo, and for Sister um, Regina Mary, that they may to the Divine Presence of God. <clears throat> A reading from the first book of Maccabees. Judas and his brothers said, Now that our enemies have been crushed, let us go up to purify the sanctuary and rededicate it. So the whole army assembled and went up to Mount Zion. Early in the morning on the 25th day of the ninth month, that is, the month of Chislev, in the year 148, they arose and offered sacrifice according to the law on the new altar of burnt offerings that they had made. On the anniversary of the day on which the Gentiles had defiled it, on that very day it was reconsecrated with songs, harps, flutes, and cymbals. All the people prostrated themselves and adored and praised heaven, who had given them success. For eight days they celebrated the dedication of the altar and joyfully offered burnt offerings and sacrifices of deliverance and praise. They ornamented the facade of the temple with gold crowns and shields. They repaired the gates and the priest's chambers and furnished them with doors. There was great joy among the people, now that the disgrace of the Gentiles was removed. Then Judas and his brothers and the entire congregation of Israel decreed that the days of the dedication of the altar should be observed with joy and gladness on the anniversary every year for eight days from the 25th day of the month of Chislev. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We praise your glorious name, Almighty God. We, we praise your glorious name, Almighty God. Blessed may you be, O 
Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. We praise your glorious name, O my God. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory, for all in heaven and on earth is yours. We praise your glorious name, O my God. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you. We praise your glorious name, Almighty God. You have dominion over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. We praise your glorious name, Almighty God. entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching in the temple area. The chief priests and the scribes and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death. But they could know what they could find no way to accomplish their purpose because all the people were hanging on his words. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we continue to reflect on the, uh, the beauty and the significance of having altar of God. Having a house of prayer and having a house of God. And how glorious, how uh, beautiful it that brings healing and strength to all people. People of Israel, after the exile, when they came back, the first thing they want to do is to rebuild the house of God. And I remember as a uh, you know, Catholic priest, you know, whenever we go start the mission, the first thing that we wanted to do build the church. Just take for example St. Bernadette. The first thing that anyone pioneer remember, the blue room. <laughs> That's where everything started. Little by little. Mother Teresa always remembers, reminds us that mother, where do you get all this energy? And she takes everybody, loves to take everybody to the little chapel and the Eucharist. We're going to hear more about the Eucharist in the coming days, but Today I wanted to, you know, reflect with you the beauty and gift of the church, house of God, house of prayer, place of worship. You know, there are so many names that we can go on and on. You know, altar is dedicated, consecrated to bring forth the altar our father in faith Abraham did, our high priest Melchizedek did, and all the prophets did, you know, that Jesus himself offered upon on the cross for us. So there's so much significant that, you know, uh, we could remind ourselves about being in the house of God, being in the church. It is no ordinary thing. You walk into a party, it's totally different from walking into the house of God. We come not because we are sinners. We come not because we are saints. We come here because we are children of God. We belong to Him. And God is the one who can fix us None of us can fix each other. We can only help each other, guide each other, <clears throat> nourish each other. Sometimes, you know, time and time again, there are so many videos and things like that. They try to attack, you know, like Catholic Church that has been forever and ever and ever. They have been so crazy about, you know, you know, life and this and this and that. They're against abortion, this and this and that. 
all kinds of accusation we have been facing. But one thing that we have learned long time ago, when people go against the truth, it's, it's against hitting their head against the rock. You know what happens when you hit your head against the rock? You bleed, right? But sometimes it is not visible because it looks like the evil is winning because there's so much attack on the Catholic Church. One thing, the church and the people, people in the church mess up. And so that makes an impact on the existence of the church itself. It is not the church that makes mistakes, but the people who are part of the church that kind of messes up. And I always tell this to people, okay? Some people are looking for a perfect church. Yeah, I really want a perfect church. Okay, go ahead, find it. Go look for one. When you find it, come on, let me know. I'll tell you something. Why? Because if you find a perfect church and if you join that, guess what? That became imperfect. <laughs> because you are in it. <laughs> Just kidding. Because what makes a church perfect, it is honest. Because if our mindset, if our heart is not tuned to what is the significance of the church, we don't, we don't understand it. Sometimes they question, why do we have to such a beautiful, you know, expensive church? And why do we need church at all? It's like one of the monks asked the disciple, why do we need church? And then he asked, okay, give me a, give me water. Give me water. And then he goes and grabs a glass and brings water. Excuse me, I ask for water. But you give me a glass of water. I ask for water, you give me a glass of water. Do you get it? No. Okay, can you bring water without any containers? No. Okay, church is a container. And I love you. We sink with the divine. So, there's so much that we need to understand as a people of God that we don't, we don't get it. Sometimes, what is the purpose of the church? We are, only, we are only critical thinking, kind of, okay, let's attack, let's attack, let's attack. If you know the truth, you will not go in that direction. So, we need to be really, really, by Jesus, have pity on them and pray for them. Please stand. <clears throat> oh God, we pray for your grace and your mercy and your love, especially in this time of our pandemic crisis and the revival that the Catholic Church is bringing, especially in the United States. All the bishops gathered for their conference and um, helping to draw a beautiful document on the Eucharist. Bless our church to deepen our faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray our prayers. Lord God, we pray for all of us gathered here that we may renew our faith and our trust in you so that we can stand up against all criticism and accusation that we might proclaim the truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, we thank you for the gift of your mother church and for all the churches established in your name, consecrated, dedicated for the greater glory May the church draw your people closer to you, especially in this time of uh, Thanksgiving and Advent that we are expecting. We pray to the Lord. No, 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 no. What else we pray in this time? I pray for the people that live in convalescence homes, that those that are going to get help, that they have people who love them and the people who are always thinking to pray for them, to help them to get through these holidays. These holidays. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray our prayers. I pray for thanksgiving for prayers for my oldest son who received his first choice. And I just pray to God for all his goodness. For this let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray our prayers. For the gift of life, especially for Sylvia Perrin on her birthday. Mm -hmm. I pray that the Lord may continue to bless her. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Gift of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become for us the spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Praise, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable. To God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the fall of His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of Your Majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to You, and gain us the price of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit of your heart. We the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son by whose obedience we have been restored to the gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as an exaltation we are playing. <laughs> saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was entered, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Resurrection. We offer. 
offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Bless your children, especially those whom we remember in this entire month. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like this may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, with your Blessed Apostles, St. Bernadette, our patroness, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> Savior's command formed by divine teaching together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope on the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And with your spirit. And for each other this night. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. And the body of Christ be the same for you now. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do, in memory of him, may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the love of Christ to be merciful like the Heavenly Father. You are welcome to take the sin and prayer card. You can keep it in a pocket and you can share it with other people to pray. It's such a beautiful prayer that allows us to go closer and pray for this beautiful cause of the revival and renewal that the church needed in this more critical time. So thank you for your prayers, keeping spreading this word of God, uh, this prayer. Okay, let's pray for a uh, Sing it on birthday.